Hello and welcome back to data visualization using Python. In today's video, the first of section 6, we're going to start looking at geographic data. We're going to take a look at matplotlib's base map package, how to work in non-Cartesian coordinate systems, how to generate plots in map projections, and how to plot various objects in geographic data. Today, we're going to look at latitude and longitude. In particular, we're going to look at the non-Cartesian coordinate system that is spherical coordinates. We're going to see how latitude and longitude work in spherical coordinates and see how different kinds of map projections take spherical coordinates and convert them into Cartesian ones. Now, we're going to be using the base map method, which comes as a component of matplotlib, but which may not be necessarily installed on your system. So if you can't import base map, take a look at the documentation on matplotlib's website and install the base map package using your package manager of choice. Now we know that the Earth isn't flat, at least I hope you know that. And because the Earth isn't flat, that its surface is roughly spherical, it means when we want to take coordinates that are embedded on the surface of that sphere and project them onto the screen, we need some way of converting that curved surface into a flat one, like we would see on a map. This is called a map projection. And because a curved surface is continuous, and because straight lines are actually not they're the shortest distance on a curved surface, like a sphere, map projections that take you from a spherical coordinate system, like the surface of the Earth, to a Cartesian one, always run into some inaccuracies. In particular, you have issues equal area and equal shape, or they're sometimes referred to as equal area and conformal maps. So you may have heard that the standard Mercator projection actually warps the size of things compared to whether or not they're near the equator or near the poles. So here you see projected onto North America the size of Antarctica and the size of Greenland. On a Mercator projection map, Greenland and Antarctica and Brazil here seem to have much, much different areas than they actually have. Brazil appears to be much smaller than it is, whereas Greenland appears much, much bigger than it actually is. That's because Mercator is a conformal map projection, preserves shape, but it doesn't preserve area. Let's take a look now at some real map projections and see how this works. So we're going to begin, as usual, by importing NumPy, Matplotlib, and BaseMap. And we're also going to define a little function here called setup map that will draw in the continents and water areas of our map, as well as draw these TSO dots. These are dots that are placed on the map that can allow us to see whether or not our map is preserving the shape of these circular dots, as well as the area, the size of them. So as usual, when we create a basic cylindrical map projection, nothing actually gets plotted. So we're going to set up our maps here using this function. And you'll see, once we run setup map, that our TSO dots are not only in this basic cylindrical coordinate system, which takes your latitude and longitude and converts it just into x and y points on our screen, not only are these things being warped by their area, they're growing as we go north, they're also changing shape. They're turning into ellipses. So that means that this basic cylindrical projection is neither conformal, it's not preserving area, and it's also not preserving the shape of our objects, our continents and land masses. Let's take a look now at the Mercator projection. Mercator is the most common projection that you might see on a map. It's the one that every classroom has within it. And you'll see that it's a little bit different than this very, very dead simple cylindrical projection. So if we set up our Mercator map here, you'll see 
that while the areas are not preserved, stuff near the poles gets much bigger than stuff near the equator. The actual shapes are preserved. So we're not having an accurate representation of area with a conformal Mercator map, but we are preserving the shape. There's also ways of preserving the area, but these things are always a trade-off. So let's take a look at the most common equal area projection, what's called a hammer projection. Now, a hammer projection will take one argument, and that argument is where we want to center our map on, our longitude zero. So let's put it right at zero, center it at the prime meridian. Now, you might recognize this hammer projection. It's this ellipsoidal projection. And you can see that while points near the edges here are somewhat sheared, they still have the same area. So you can't really preserve both shape and area while converting from a spherical coordinate system to a Cartesian one. Now, there is a very different way of projecting things that doesn't show you the entire map, but gives you kind of the perspective you would get if you were observing this 3D surface from a distance. And we can generate this using the perspective projection. So the perspective projection is used by setting projection to NSPR for spherical projection. And you can see we get essentially what we would see from a distance, like what you would see from space, essentially. However, you see here there's an extra argument, satellite height. That's actually the distance from which we're observing. At a distance 4 billion kilometers, things look pretty flat. Actually, this is 4 billion meters, so that would be 4 million kilometers. Watch what happens when we drop down to, say, 400 kilometers, so the height at which a satellite might actually be orbiting. Here now you can see we're no longer seeing the entirety of the Earth's surface. And in fact, we're zooming in here and looking at a smaller and smaller area. We're actually getting a horizon effect that you don't get with these other kind of map projections. So if you want to get a picture of what the Earth might look like from a distance above its surface, these perspective projections are the tool to use for that.